Ridgeside K9, we are on the move. Vlog, I don't know what number this is. I've shot a many of them. I don't keep count, it doesn't matter. But it's gonna be a little vlog. We're taking two dogs to uh, Vienna, right to the middle of Fairfax County for a drop off. One is a uh, little pit bull in the back. Uh, one of those two crates right there, a little white pit bull, Death. Uh, came here for a board and train, did an awesome job. Did a lot of vibration command control uh, things over tone. You guys know we like tone for a lot of different communication uh, values. We use vibration for this dog with stem, obviously. Uh, build motivation, build enthusiasm, build drive, give clarity a task, get the dog rocking and rolling fully off leash. At the same time, the owners, basically it was a uh, new husband and wife. They were coming together. Wife, uh, fiance had a dog, husband had a dog. Beyonce and uh, they came together. One had a pit bull, one had a little tiny fluff fluff dog. And there was a lot of concerns, a couple prior little uh, warning signs. So we trained one, exposed the other, worked out real good, going to drop them off. Beautiful house, guy's a car guy too, I get along with him great. He's got an awesome, brand new uh, Z06, I believe, Corvette, ZR2, I don't know. I don't know a lot about Chevys, but phenomenal, amazing Corvette. And he's got a uh, Cadillac, that uh, hatch Cadillac, it hasn't been produced for a while, I don't think, but it's like the station wagon Cadillac, that Corvette motor, amazing cars, I love it. All right guys, this vlog, the purpose, man, this is my first, uh, second day, I guess, post-retirement. I'm feeling great, it's a little bit weird, uh, you know, not to be technically a police officer anymore, not to have that with me, but uh, you know, have no fear, uh, at any point in time, we're still strapped. We don't leave home without a firearm, that's for damn sure. But, all that to the side, new chapter in life, new beginning, new day. Uh, we are busy with Richside, man. We're, we're, we're so blessed, we're so, every day it's like you wake up, you're living a dream, man. And um, yeah, some people would say, yeah, but you're driving all the time, you're working 20 hours a day. And that's the point of being an entrepreneur. That's the point of being self-employed. You gotta be busy to make revenue. Uh, all the guys that are self-employed that want to uh, spend more time on their own, come on, man, a little bit of space. Spend more time on their own, more time, you know, watching movies and, and, and playing ball and going on vacations and all. That's not the life of an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs, 20-hour days, grind, 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 right? That old saying, you know, work while they sleep, learn while they party and save while they spend so that one day you can live like they dream. It's very true. With that message, I know a lot of police officers, man, that have amazing degrees. They're wicked intelligent. They're very witty. They're very quick on their feet. They're very smart. They would make great small business owners. But they had the one thing that held me back, fear. They like that government paycheck, even though it's very, very little. They like having that constant source of income, no matter what. And they like the benefits. I get it, guys. I was there 15 years. I feared leaving. Even though I had a dream, I had a vision, I knew I could make a small business work. I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. I worked all through high school. Every day, four years, I worked through high school. I always knew I'd be my own boss, but I had a fear. I needed the reassurance of insurance, benefits, pension, retirement, and a steady paycheck, even when it's this big. It makes sense to a lot of people. I get it. I had a meeting one day. It wasn't really a meeting. I just went out to lunch with a phenomenal self-made millionaire, entrepreneur, Doc Wilhelm with the Wilhelm Group. Uh, his son, Bo, is my brother-in-law. Also a phenomenal guy. These guys are real deal businessmen. They, they climb from the bottom to the top. And Doc told me something. He said, listen, 99.999% of people want to work for somebody else. They don't want the responsibility of being the man, of being in charge of not only your future, but your family's well-being, everybody else's well-being. They don't have what it takes to do what it takes to be a successful small business person. Spot on. Best advice he told me the whole day. He didn't realize it, but just through talking to me and telling me that, it was an eye-opener. And, and what I ask a lot of the other people with a vision, with a dream, do you have what it takes to be that .001% that can do whatever it takes to be successful? Do you? I don't know. Only you know. So if you got it, step up to the plate. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Don't complain. Train. Make it work. Make a plan. Create a business with a couple different aspects so that if one fails, something else takes off. That gets slow. This stays busy. And then before you know it, they'll all be busy. 
and you'll have a great problem, which is too much business and turning people away, which is not good for business, but it's a good problem to have. And um, I'm so motivated right now, man. I, I can't even express how motivated I am for the future. I got a lot on my plate. I love it. That's where I excel. Best under stress when you're with friction. I live like that, guys. Um, I love it. I love the stress. I love the hustle and bustle. I love controlling my own damn future. I love being a cop. I will miss it to the core. I'll miss the chase, the hunt, the adrenaline rush, the good nights. I will not miss the drama, the politics, the back room stuff that goes along with policing, which doesn't matter what department, doesn't matter where you work, that's always with policing. It cannot exist without it. It needs it to function. That's the truth. I don't care. Big PD, small town sheriff's office, there's politics involved in all, all of it. End of story. Now, I will miss knowing that whether I risk my life and die or I come and drink coffee for 10 hours, I'll get paid. It doesn't matter, right? I'll still get paid. Um, that was cool. But, paychecks are this big as a cop, right? You want to have a future, you want to build a legacy, you want to build something, only you can do that, only you can control it. So that's it, guys. That's a little rant, man. I'm just driving, wasting some time. We're going to drop off these two turnovers right now, get back to the house, train the dogs that are there. I have another drop off at Fairfax Station tonight. We're all over Fairfax, guys. So Loudoun County, Fairfax County, we're anywhere, everywhere, Northern Virginia, DMV, we'll drive to you. But, uh, you know, 80% of our business, hands down, God, it's roads back. 80% of our business for sure is Loudoun County, uh, 15% Fairfax County, 5% throw it up in the air, it's everywhere. Uh, but we love our Loudoun County people, man. You guys have supported us, supported us. Man, y'all help us out every day. Fairfax County, we love you too. I went to South Lakes High School, guys. Fairfax County, show us some love. We'll service you. We're all over Clifton, Vienna, Centerville, um, Fairfax, Chantilly. We're, we're all over the place. Reston, Herndon, Annandale, we go everywhere. Let us know, guys, how we can help you. Small business hustle, all my entrepreneurs, man. If you guys ever have any questions, I can't really tell you how to do it, but I can tell you what we messed up at and what we succeeded at. And at the end of the day, it's all about hard work, all about hustle. Can you put the hours in? Can you grind? Will you work at making a online presence, being an influencer while everybody else in the household sleeps? Will you put in the work while you want to, everybody else is watching the football game and you're there trying to make you know, uh, a brand? Can you do it? I don't know. But anyway, that's it. Rickside K9, let us know how we can help you.